what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hitman 3. If you guys are still enjoying this series, smash the like button. No, better still assassinate the like button, but don't get caught. And uh, welcome back. So last time we were in China, there was a high tech facility. We took out two targets and uh, because AJ47 is now rogue, he's on his own. Um, well, let's just say a lot of people are scared. And the guy with the creepy voice, I can't remember actually how he sounds, maybe like this. He has a really slow, cold, monotone, bad guy voice. Either way, um, he has persuaded our confidant to uh, betray us, so yeah, that's not very good. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm sure of one thing, Agent 47 will come out on top. Because if he doesn't, th th there can't be a sequel, right? <laughs> Alright, we uh, have to rendezvous with uh, Diana Burnwood, hmm. and she's trying to betray us, I think. Old habits. I have a lot of those. I found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and & Cohn and get Quite the mustache. hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constant's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. So long! No, you won't. Oh! Badass! Okay. Well then! Uh, let's see now, planning. I'm guessing most likely I can't smuggle anything in, right? Most likely. Fiber wire, everything looks good. Got my coins. Trust the old coins, have to have those. You never know when you need to distract someone and then choke them. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and start this bitch up. Rendezvous with Diana Burnwood in um, Mendoza and uh, ascertain her allegiance. I, I don't know if she's actually betraying us or if she's being like a double agent, pretending to betray us, but then she's gonna betray the person she's pretending to betray us with, right? Did that make sense? I, I don't even think so. Either way, we'll find out. Oh, well this place looks very, very rich and bougie. The vineyard with the wine and the tuxedos and the caviar and this voice. Oh, here we are. Okay. Because you're not an idiot. Hmm. Just humor him. This yes. place looks gorgeous. Conceal item. <laughs> I can hide stuff in the trash. You don't belong. Hmm. Hello there, gentlemen. You definitely look like agents. They always have to have the uh, the earpiece with the squiggly wire going back, and the glasses. Hello there, Diana. Quite the view we've got here. My goodness, so beautiful. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Hmm. I could feel your soul and it's dark. Here. I feel like you're gonna I betray got you me. An invitation, just like old times. 
Oh, well, that's quite nice of you. Thank you Come for the invitation. It's done. Totally didn't grab Good it, but okay. I don't need luck. I'm a trained assassin with a barcode on the back of my head. I don't need luck. All I need is my target. Okay, uh, do not eliminate Diana. Got it. Eliminate uh, Vidal and eliminate Yates. Well, that shouldn't be too challenging. I've got my very fancy white tuxedo on. The only thing that's missing is a glass of champagne in my right hand and a beautiful woman on my left side. What's up with that? Oh my god, the view! I can't get over it. It's so freaking beautiful here. Hello there, sir. Now, if there's one thing I've learned so far is that there's always somebody I can take down, disguise myself as that person, although my facial features never change, assume their uh, identity, and then sneak my way in, and then the target will usually come to me, so. It's Aaron, sir. We from may have firm. found our first person. I came as quickly as I could. Yes, sir, I have the files. Sorry it took so long, but I had to access our remote server to print everything, and I, I couldn't get my VPN to... Right. Interesting. Sorry, sir. I'll be right inside. Hmm. The junior partner. Don Yates has urgently summoned a junior partner from Morgan, Yates, and Khan uh, to, uh, uh, to the estate, the attorney Aaron Ford Jr., who was also at Thornbridge Manor when Alexa Carsley died, is carrying a ledger of important documents and is scheduled, scheduled to see Yates in person. Interesting. All right, you little dweeb. Go on. I'll follow you. Nah, nah, nah. Don't worry if I'm getting a little too close, or if it seems as though I'm tailing you. I'm definitely not going to choke you out. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold up. <laughs> Did I hear every bone in his body shatter? My man, you need some calcium. That was too easy. <laughs> oh my, how in the hell? How, what? I, I, I literally do not understand how he was knocked out from that. Research file, the junior partner's documents from the archive of Morgan, Yates, and Khan. Information requested by Don Yates. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we are good to go. Let's go on and disguise ourselves as this man. He's concealed and quite naked. Well, nearly naked. Let's go on and pop out here. Mm, yes, I'm that person. Nothing's changed except for my facial features, my voice, and of, of course my posture. I stand up straight and tall, like a, uh, a well-bred assassin. Yo. Now, can I get in? If you want to come through, I'm gonna need to pat you down. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I have a lot of illegal items, so let me just go back in here and then dump them all. I'm sure you won't mind, will you? No. Okay, uh, swap over to this and drop. Uh, let's see now. Of course, my gun. Drop. And that should be good. Surely a coin isn't illegal, right? It's a bloody coin. Okay, we should be good to go. Uh, you hoo boys, would you pat me down thoroughly and make sure to check every single corner? You know what I'm saying? Take your time. I do love a good pat Just down. Relax. Your Ooh. Getting, getting really comfortable, I see. Empty briefcase. Nothing in there. <laughs> Actually. You're good. Thanks for putting Damn, that's quite, oh, no, that's quite the belt you've got there. I love the hats as well. Area discovered. Okay. We are in, officially. Hmm. You look very Italian, I would assume. Okay, let's go in. Beautiful manor here. Look at this guy leaning up against the gate like that. You, you, you scream lazy. You, to, honestly, you seem like the type of guy that wouldn't take your job very. Oh shit! Seriously, sorry, 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 sorry. Can, can, can I please come in? Can I, okay, I was trespassing. I guess I can't go in there. Oh boy, they're searching. I literally put one toe inside. Can I go in here? Do they have to frisk me? Oh, here we go. Talk Aaron to the guard. Ford Jr. Don Yates is expecting me. Okay, right this way, Mr. Ford. Well, you're very kind. I take back everything I said about you. Not really. I meant it all, and then some. I forgot. Hmm. I can't get over the view. This place is beautiful. It's a lovely day to be killing. I, I mean, to be sipping wine, wouldn't you say? Hmm. You look like a lawyer, all right. You got that. Killer instinct. It's a gift. However, did you know? Yes. I do look like a killer. A, a lawyer. Basically the same thing. <laughs> I mean, 
No maniacal laughter here. Ooh. M move! Jeez. Oh, okay, this is the villa's guest room. I could pick that up and use it as a weapon, I'm sure. Sit up your shop in here. Mr. You're not even you looking sit up at me. Your shop in here. Sir! Mr. Yates, Attention! You right with you. You need to show me some respect. Oh! Hello there, boys. Place research file. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, please come in. Make yourself at home. All right. You're on the clock, Aaron. Dazzle me. What do we got on Burnwood? She's an orphan. Aaron's killed by one of our clients, Blue Seed Pharmaceuticals. The experience taught her to seek justice outside the system. Would you like me to go through her records? They're quite extensive. Well, somebody did their homework. No, just her involvement in the 1% killings. Starting with our clients. Details, please. The gorier, the better. Well, here's one that might interest you. Janus, a retired KGB spy master, is eliminated in his adopted hometown of Whittleton Creek, Vermont. I can kill him with a pin? A former Secret Service agent. The methods in question are quite... I've got to find out. Well, um, obviously that was a failure, but I mean, I just had to see. I've never done that before. I can make this pin disappear. Whoop up! <laughs> I'm basically like the Joker. Ah, damn it! Now I've got to do all that all over again. Ah, oh, it's fine. It was well worth it, though. All There's right, here we go again. <clears throat> hometown Must resist. Creek, Vermont, along with his bodyguard, a former Secret Service agent. The methods in question are quite ingenious. Just take a look here. The Himapan Hotel, Bangkok. Renowned rock star Jordan Cross is assassinated along with Morgan Yates and Cohn's senior partner Ken Morgan, Cross's legal representative. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Yates. I don't suppose you'll want to see that. Nevertheless, I have the details right here. You're on fire, Aaron. Don't quit now. Hmm. I'm surprised that I was caught killing him. How? Everyone was outside. How could they have possibly known I killed him? Well, let's follow this old bag of bones and see where he goes. Maybe I can find a nice secluded spot and inject a pin into his eye socket. Yeah, they're all outside. What do you see? A monster? Revolutionary, fanatic, violent extremist. You should. You should take a good, hard look at this graceful woman. Who is he talking to? Me? Professional demeanor. And imagine her hands soaked in the blood of your colleagues. Including my friend and business partner, Ken Morgan. A bloody trail of carnage and destruction ending with the partners themselves. I think he might be monologuing. Our superior. Greetings, sir. Oh. <laughs> Greetings and salutations. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's actually talking to himself. Or maybe he's going over a speech. That's probably what it is. He's going over a speech. I'm gonna follow this guy. Wait until he's in a secluded spot and then dispatch him promptly. Of course, it's uh, a bit difficult with all these guards around. Hmm. Ooh, it's an umbrella. Might need this. It could rain, you never know. Or it could be perfect for jabbing into the side of a person I dislike greatly. Can I go in here? Does that mean yes? Oh. Oh, yes I can. Okay. Was a bit worried. <laughs> oh, where are you, sir? Mr. Edwards. Don Yates. I have received your letter. I merely called to express my <gasps> regrets that you were not able to make it to the party. Rest assured that I will extend our new herald the warmest of welcome. You look beautiful! A most shrewd and sagacious move on your part, bringing her into the fold. I have the utmost confidence that Miss Burnwood will prove a valuable addition to the group. Feel free to call me at your leisure. Have a good day. <laughs> machine. Since when do I get the machine? Hmm, not very important. No one's answering the phone. Okay, she's outside. Damn it! You just had to ruin my plan! Maybe I could take her down 
And then... Well, that works! <laughs> and then put her inside this trunk over here. And when he comes back inside, I'll drop the chandelier on top of his head. Oh no, it was an accident. Sorry about this, sweetheart, but uh, unfortunately you were in the way. And that just cannot do. Let me grab this. And I'm going to wait for him to come inside. I hope this is the best way to take this guy down. Surely it has to be, right? He's one of the targets, so... It's gotta be a good way. Any day now, buddy. Would you like to come inside? Or do you want to stay outside and enjoy the view? Actually, you know what? Maybe I could just push him off the balcony. Nope, never mind. He's enjoying a glass of wine. Oh yes, here we go. <clears throat> come inside, my friend. Yes. No! What if I do this? Oh, what's that? It's a coin! Oh shit, the guard's been alerted too. Oh no, never mind, hold up. Hmm, check it out. Oh, that worked like a treat! Okay, hopefully I don't get caught. <laughs> Crushed his ass and they didn't even see. I'm good. Okay, let's go back inside. Wow, that worked out perfectly. Yep, he was crushed. Okay, let's try and hide his body in here. I think you could put two bodies in a trunk. At least I hope so. So sorry, sir. We'll drag you over here. I never knew a chandelier could do so much damage. This game teaches you quite a lot. And there we go. Have a lovely time in hell. <laughs> uh, do I really need this suitcase? I suppose I do, it, it completes the outfit. Okay, pick up the coin, and I sh- oh, oh my god. <gasps> I wish I could use that. Why didn't I use that? You guys should have told me. It's fine, it's okay. All right, one target down, one to go. Maybe there's a uh, another personality I can assume, which requires another costume. Let's mosey on over here and check it out. Man, this umbrella. It's quite the weapon. Oh, they're frisking people down. Let's not go that way. Oh wait, I have to. Right. Damn it, dude. Oh wait, what am I saying? I don't even have anything. I'm not worried. All I've got is a white umbrella. Can I go through here? Oh, I can. Oh, of course, I'm already in here. Why would they need to frisk me on the way out? Although I could be stealing stuff. You never know. Silverware, maybe a gold watch. Oh, what the? It's rather barbaric. Tell me you didn't Hmm. Okay. I didn't forget the asado torch. Ignite. Oh, cool. All right, let's check this place out. It's quite the party. Although no one really seems to be having a good time. So much champagne. So many fine dressed people. So elegant. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Open. Cool. Wow. All right. Don't know why that's there, but it's awesome. I'm easily distracted. Not the best agent, if I'm being honest. Okay, hold up. We have uh, our target down here. Oh, never mind. There she is. Okay. How to take her down? She's going to give a speech. Ooh. I could loosen that. Too much effort. Never mind. She's not giving a speech. Maybe I can give a speech. Um, um. Yeah, 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 um, I would like to celebrate the poor people of the world that <laughs> are slaves and do all of our bidding and don't get paid anything. No, no, no applause? Seriously? Okay. Uh, let's see now. Swap with Branson MD2 microphone. Okay. Don't know where I'm going to find one of those. You too, sir. Although maybe there's a, uh, a truck up here, like a TV truck. Yeah, or I suppose it'd be like a radio truck. I don't know. Do I have to get frisked coming in here? I don't see a truck. I need to frisk you if you want to come through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go and frisk me. You sure oh, you, you know what? Something on you? Maybe we could swap out the microphone me, you with tell. something explosive. I don't know why. It, why else I would want to swap out the um, the microphone? What, what's the point in that? Unless it could be used as a lethal weapon. Okay. You were Let's go over here and check out this van. I'm pretty sure I saw not not that one. Never mind. I'm pretty sure I saw a TV or a news van or something somewhere. 
Go ahead. Ooh, what's this? They're just for decoration. Can I open this okay. without getting uh, in trouble? Say, oh, wow. Nothing. Okay. Chefs. Yeah, it was down here. A news van. Any idea why? Hola, you know senor. why. Trust is earned. Yes. Until Edwards is satisfied you're not sailing under a false flag, I will be his eyes and ears. I meant why you? I suppose I'm more perceptive than most. You're also very loyal. My guess is Edward's decision to make me a herald is not too popular with the other heralds. We were at war hmm. about five minutes ago. Some people are funny like that. But not you. I admire the craft, the audacity. Everyone said Providence was untouchable and along you came. The way I see it, you did us a service. That's cold. I like you more already. Touché. Well then, I stumbled into quite a dark conversation there. Uh, I was completely mistaken. That was not a news van back there. It was actually, I think, a van for the security guards. But, uh, yeah. I'm not really sure where I'm going to find a different microphone. Maybe inside the villa. Possibly. Because I'm not seeing anything over here. And I'm not seeing any other identities that I can assume. So I suppose I'm going to have to stick with this. Hmm. Can I drop down here? Yeah, that would probably be a bad idea. There's <laughs> a lot of people watching. Well, I guess I'm just gonna keep prowling around until until something uh, becomes available. Or maybe I could just chuck my umbrella at the uh, the target and kill him that way. Be pretty effective, right? Oh wait, hold up. Ooh, there's a second level. Now we're cooking. What's down here? Okay, I see a lot of equipment. Crowbar. A box. I think we might find what we need somewhere down here. Ooh, hold up. The bar! And coins! Who would be foolish enough to leave these here? Probably tips. Let's take that for later. You know, I get really thirsty and I have sworn off water. I don't drink water. I heard that there's heavy metals in water like mercury that could potentially Damage you long term like I might die at, at 98 instead of 99 because of the tap water I drink so instead I'm gonna drink wine only I hear that will extend your life expectancy all the way up to infinity as a matter of fact Hmm, oh wow Do I oh ah Me thinks me see a potential victim Got a message from the boss Duty calls let me guess the Burnwood woman. That's right. Gates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. Makes me sentimental. A private tour. Good reason. State. Diana Vidal. This fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates' hmm. own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. Okay. Well, let's follow this guy. Wow, you look super fancy. And also really douchey. Let's follow this guy and uh, wait for an opportune moment to put him into a deep sleep. This may take a while. He's walking really slowly. I'm surprised so many people show up here. I mean, honestly, what could you guys possibly do besides stand around in your fancy clothing and drink? Sounds kind of boring. Oh, hello, hello, lady. You look lost. Meet me in my room tonight and I'll uh, give you a free therapy session. <laughs> uh, can you walk any slower? I've got to knock you out. I'm, I'm, I'm wasting all my energy from boredom. Hello. Hello there. <clears throat> Must keep my mind on the job. Sworn off female companionship. Only thing I like to do is kill. I could take him down right here. I mean, honestly, who would care? This guy's smoking. He's a douchebag. And he's lighting another one up? Damn, this dude likes to chain smoke. One right after the, the other. Just go to patches, honestly. Nicotine patches. This may take a little while. Hold up. Actually... 
Uh, I may have spoke too soon. I forgot. There's these nifty little spots right here that I can conceal bodies in. Hopefully no one turns around. There we go. Look at that. How perfect. I love rich people. They make everything so easy. Okay, I'm sure these items won't arouse any type of suspicion. Uh, right? They're not very suspicious. Okay, let's go down here and let's go talk to Vidal. I look like the same person. Don't question it. Uh, honestly, I'm rich, so, you know, I probably got plastic surgery. Decided to change my face just like that. Rich people can change their outfit and their face. Oh, it's quite hey. cool. It's also really depressing. Hello there. And welcome to the Yates Winery. How may I help you? I will take your cheapest bottle of wine, please. Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy it. Hmm. Thank you, thank you. I'm sure it will be a smashing success, if you know what I'm saying. He definitely does not. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool, actually. Okay, let's try and get down to the vineyard. Shouldn't be too challenging. Let's go through here. Down we go. Aha, there they are. Please don't start the tour without me. I'm very excited to find out how this whole process happens. Because I don't just drink to get drunk. I drink to learn. It's an experience. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Oh, Black, joy! I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. a boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes. Yes, it was. Yeah, hey. She's actually proud of that. Okay. Don't come around here again, okay? Seriously! Well, let's try and sneak around and get in here. She's awfully rude. I can't wait to put her lights out. Oh, fudge! Well, how am I supposed to get over here? You! -hoo. Hey, buddy boy! Okay, I have no idea how I'm supposed to get his attention without swapping out outfits. Hmm. Investigate the holdup. Well, how the hell do I do that? Please don't tell me I have to, uh, change outfits. That, that, that's just way too much work. Hi there. Maybe I just need to get frisked. Get, do, okay, nope. Faster. Vamos. Hey. Hmm. Well, um, this is interesting. I, is every single place off limits? I get it, guys. I get it. You know what? It's fine. I'll just find a nice secluded spot, jump over the barrier, and then make my way over there. I'm sure they won't mind. Maybe I'll pick this up for good measure, just in case someone tries to get in my way. This place is lousy with guards, man. Okay, here we go. So far, so good. What? What is he now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialized friends, it's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. If Yeats doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? <sighs> three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Okay! Well, I see an opportunity. Assuming I can get over here without getting caught. Just need to follow this guy. Take him down. I, I guess this is going to be a uh, episode full of, uh, Outfit swapping. Choke this guy out. I am so sorry, my friend. It's nothing personal. Just need to borrow your attire. There we go. And then I am going to... Oh, shit. Hopefully they're not looking this way. Drag you over here and drop you off in this very conveniently placed... Shredder. Can I turn this on? Oh, I wish I could turn this on. <laughs> That'd be so cool. <clears throat> okay, he needed a knife, was it? Knife, knife. 
Oh wait, oh, ooh, a key. I'll take that. Put it away. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, nope, that's not what I meant to do. What's this, turn on faucet? Nope, don't wanna do that. I'm getting uh, distracted very easily. Acquire a great picking knife. Oh, of course, the objective is right here. Tell me, uh, why, oh, how is a grape picking knife different from, say, a normal knife? Grab that. Oh, I see, it looks much fancier and it has a curve on it. Got it, got it. Oh, not what I meant to do. I'm great at parkour, just not great at direction. Okay, harvest three Malbec grapevines. Don't know if I said that name right, but I probably did it. Uh, where are the vines? I don't know. I don't know which ones to go for. Uh, hello? Little help here, guys. I, I know I look like I'm a gardener and I belong in the vineyard, but trust me, I do not. I have no clue what I'm doing. What's this? Oh, nope, those are shears. Maybe I could turn on the faucet. Will that do anything? Yeah, it'll create a distraction. Ah, here we go. Well, those are a lot of plump grapes. <laughs> okay, I've got one. Come on, where's the plump batch at? Maybe over on this side? Oh, 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 that guy can spot me. Didn't realize everyone knew each other. It's very friendly around here, which I don't like. There we go, there's two. I just need one more. Which one of you lucky grapevines is going to be picked for the harvest? You. There we go. I don't know where I'm putting these, but I'm going to assume somewhere that's not my butthole. And let's bring it over here to the chief winemaker. Oh, avoid the guard. Yes, I do believe I've picked the juiciest, bluest of, uh, of, uh, of grapes. Oh, hey, wait, what? Son. Investigating distraction. Oh, of Mr. course, Vargas, the, the, uh, the waterfalls that I turned on. Yes. Wow! Bring him here. That is quite the twisty mustache you've got there. Now, let's see. Uh, they look kind of blue to me. Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good size, large and firm. Seeds, brown. Excellent. Finally, taste. Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. Inform the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a third to contact. Will do. Yay, I can go back to my day job as a killer. <laughs> there we go. And let's just sneak out of here. Whew, who knew being an assassin required so much dexterity? I mean, I have to be jumping in and out of everywhere. I have to be doing different types of, um, I don't know, personalities, different types of jobs, and I have to actually look like I know what I'm doing, which is very difficult, because the only thing I know how to do is take life. I found him, he was, I mean, I, I, don't, I didn't find him, it was someone else. Welcome to Vineda Yates. I do apologize for the delay, but the Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief one maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. No. So how do you like Argentina? Like everywhere else. Full of Americans. <laughs> First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec Wait. grapes are processed. We insist on the steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state of the art, including an industrial sized freezer unit, and last but not least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. I get your drift. Very interesting indeed. 
Maybe it's a multi-purpose crusher. Maybe it crushes grapes. Maybe it crushes people. Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. Indubitably. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our media before? Only on business. Next Ooh. on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes to its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser before the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How Ooh, about you, when do we get drunk? You look like you have something on your mind. Hmm. Uh, yes, I do, I suppose. I have a question. It's... Perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's take a look at this one. What can you tell me about this device? Oh, damn it! Great presser, was it? That is correct, senor. On the primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. I should add that grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically red and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. <laughs> <laughs> How funny. Go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome. Fine. Ah. Uh, wow. You guys are really brave. Hope he doesn't decide to crush us. This was supposed to be you in here. Okay, so. May I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. <laughs> Wonder what would happen if I press this button. Unlock safety mechanism? Damn it! Uh, this is what the little guy feels like. Is there a way I can... Yep. All good. Looks like one for the mat. Now, is there any more questions? Don't be shy. Who are you? Okay, you? that probably wasn't the best of ideas. I just wanted to press the button. I'm like a baby. I see big buttons, I gotta slap them. Hold up. Okay, I've got an idea. I'm not really sure how to disable the safety switch or whatever to make the crusher work, but I see a vat over here which is uh, currently unguarded, so maybe we can push her off the edge right into it. That would be a terrible way to die. I know people say they want to drown their sorrows in alcohol, but not actually a, vow, a, a vat of alcohol. That that would just, uh, that would be a little bit too much. Uh, let's go with this one. I'm interested in these containers. Ah, yes. Our large fermentation tanks are constructed from solid French oak and each contain up to 500 gallons of gray must. Interesting. Are those cooling sockets? They are indeed, simple. The cooling system allows us to fine-tune the entire process. Temperature, humidity levels, etc. Our goal here at Pineda Yates is quite simple. In the state of the art winemaking facility, to our carefully nurtured grape stock, hand-picked with loving care by local experts, This is not going to we work, is it? only one purpose, to make the best vinos in Argentina and beyond. Well, looks like an accident waiting to happen. Occupation. I wish. Aberwood? Damn it! That could have been so perfect! Oh, wait. Come on, don't you want to take a little peek? It's a big old vat of wine. It's fermenting, at least I think it is. Aren't you going to take a little look-see? I mean, I suppose I could just do this now. Mm. Okay, neck is broken. Not as much fun as pushing her into it, but, um, this'll work. They're gonna find a crude surprise when they open this bad boy up. <laughs> Alright, well then. Job well done. That just was not satisfactory. That, that just was not satisfying. Really? 
You guys witnessed that and, okay, wow. Either they hate this woman and don't want to say anything or they're all blind or they're drunk. That must be it, they're completely drunk. They didn't see anything. Yeah, that, that was too easy. I'm gonna try that again, way too easy. Okay, it's taking me quite a lot of trial and error but I have everything figured out. Over here is the winery worker's key. Let's grab that so we can unlock the safety mechanism of the wine, cr well, grape crusher. And um, this should be interesting. Yes, go underneath there. Let the nice man take your picture. It'll be the last one. <laughs> I'll make sure to use it in your obituary. Go ahead. May I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. Okay, and then she turns around. I hope so. Go on, so, turn around. This is what the little guy feels like. And... Nope, all good. Looks like one for the man. Oh! What happened to the Wow, these guys are diligent workers. A woman just got pulverized into pulp. She's nothing but liquid now. <laughs> no one cares. Oh my God, that was amazing. Holy shit. Uh, okay, wow. That is one horrible way to go, but I am so glad I decided to redo that. <laughs> so much more satisfying than simply knocking her out and dropping her in the vat. Wow, did you, did, did you see that back there? I have a feeling everyone here is plastered, or hammered actually. I mean seriously, no one saw a woman get crushed. That is incredible. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> now that I've witnessed something that I'm sure will give me PTSD for life, let's find an exit and get the hell out of here. That machine is powerful. All right, mission accomplished. I was not expecting that to be an option, but I am thoroughly pleased with the outcome. No evidence left behind. Well, I mean, nothing left behind but a pool of blood. And let's go here, oddly enough. 47. Yes, Tango, okay. This is quite the exit. I'm so confused. Is she actually going to betray us? Or is she playing it's the part? Gone. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. There was no music. I don't know what you guys were tangoing to. <laughs> All right, well then. That was probably my favorite mission in this game so far, simply because of that brutal ending. Kind of disappointing the first kill though. That was a bit anticlimactic. A chandelier crushing him. Come on, we could have done better. Either way though, still a very cool mission. Oh, three stars. I'm getting better. Only kidding, I'm still terrible. Oh, what the hell? I've unlocked a tranquilizer gun? Don't mind if I do. All right, well, uh, I think for now I'm gonna leave it off there. If you guys enjoyed this episode, smash the like button, leave a comment down below, and I think next episode should be the last video of Hitman 3 until the DLC drops. But uh, yeah, either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.